a anthology of modern children's poem. Welcome children, let's get to know each other better. With our Radato Janna, Andrea Michel, Kurniawan Tari Mariudi, and Marato Soliha. The Dream of Soji by Kimiko Han How to say milk, how to say sand, snow, so, linen, cloud, cocoon, or albino. How to say page or canvas, or rice balls. Trying to recall Japanese, I blank out. It's clearly I know forget. Mother, tell me, what to call that paper screen that slides the interior in? An Ode to the Goose by Luan Bing Wong Goose, 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 you bend your neck towards the sky and sing. Your white feathers float on the emerald water. Your red feet push the clear waves. Spring Morning by Meng Haoran I wake up with the sun up high. Bird chirps everywhere in the sky. Last night, a rainstorm passed by. Flowers must have fallen down. Knoxville, Tennessee by Nikki Giovanni I always like summer best. You can eat fresh corn from daddy's garden, and okra, and greens, and cabbage, and lots of barbecue, and buttermilk, and homemade ice cream at the church picnic and listen to gospel music outside of the church homecoming and go to the mountains with your grandmother and go barefooted and be warm all the time not only when you go to bed and sleep The Mountain and the Squirrel by Ralph Waldo Emerson The Mountain and the Squirrel had a quarrel and the former called the latter. Little prick, Bun replied. You are doubtless very big, but all sorts of things and weather must be taken in together to make up a year and a sphere. And I think it no disgrace to occupy my place. If I'm not so large as you, you are not so small as I, and not half so spry, I'll not deny you make a very pretty squirrel track. Talents diver, all is well and wisely put. If I cannot carry for us on my back, neither can you crack a nut. Bed in Summer by Robert Louis Stevenson In winter I get up at night and dress by yellow candlelight. In summer, quite the other way. I have to go to bed by day. I have to go to bed and see the birds still hopping on the tree, or hear the grown-up people's feet still going past me in the street. And does it not seem hard to you, when all the sky is clear and blue, and I should like so much to play, to have to go to bed by day? My Missing Shoe by Kate Myler Wilson I look for you by the front door, under my bed, on the bathroom floor, near the back stairs, in the drawer with my socks, next to the table, and out in the sandbox. My mother is calling me, and I'm calling you. Where have you gone, my missing shoe? Dream Variations by Langston Hughes To fling my arms wide in the face of the sun, Dance, well, well, till the quick day is done. Rest at pale evening, a tall, slim tree. Night coming tenderly, black like me. How doth the little crocodile improve his shining tail? In pour the water of the nail on every golden scale. How cheerfully! He seems to grin, how neatly spread his clouds and welcomes 
little faces in with gently smiling jaws. The Purple Cow by Galliet Burgess. I never saw a purple cow. I never hoped to see one, but I can tell you anyhow. I'd rather see than be one. Hey Diddle Diddle by Walter Crane. Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cows kept over the moon. The little dog loud to see the fine sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. There was an old man with a bird, by Edward Lear. There was an old man with a bird, who said, "It is just how I fared. Two owls and a hen." Four lars and ran, have a built their nest in my bird. At the zoo by William Makepeace Thackeray. First I saw the white bear, then I saw the black. Then I saw the camel with a hump upon his back. Then I saw the grey wolf with mutton in his mouth. Then I saw the wombat. Water in the straw. Then I saw the elephant waving off his trunk. Then I saw the monkeys. Mercy, how unpleasantly they smelt. When I was one, by a amount. When I was one, I had just begun. When I was two. I was nearly new. When I was three, I was hardly me. When I was four, I was not much more. When I was five, I was just alive. But now I am a six. I'm a clever as clever, so I think I'll be six, now, and forever. A little pony. By Laura Elizabeth Richard. Once there was an elephant who tried to use the telephone. No, no. I mean an elephant who tried to use the telephone. Dear me, I am not certain quiet. Then even now I've got it right. However, it was. He caught his trunk and tangled in the telephone. The more he tried to get it free, the louder buzzed in the telephone. I fear I'd better drop the song of elephop and telephone. The picture book giant. By Evelyn Stein. Once there was a fierce, deviant, greedy, grumbly, grisly giant. In the pages of a picture book, and he sometimes screamed in sudden rage. I must jump out from this page. For this life. A much to hum them one for me. Fiddledy, yes, this life, this this life was quite too quiet once for me. So one rainy day he did it. Took the picture book and hid it. Stamp his foot and shouting loudly, "Now I'm free!" Bodily start out, forgetting that he could not stand a wetting. He was just a paper giant, don't you see? Dearie me, just a goody picture giant, don't you see? Rebecca, by Hilaire Block. 
who slammed door for fun and perished miserably. A trick that everyone abhors in little girl is slamming doors. A wealthy banker's little daughter who lived in palace green base water by name Rebecca Offendorf was given to this furious sport. She would deliberately go and slam the door like Billy O to make her uncle Jacob start. She was not really bad at heart. but only rather rude and wild. She was an aggravating child. The Forest by Annette Wine The forest is the town of trees, where the life quiet at their is, with their neighbors at their side, just as we in cities white. Robin Redbreast by William Allingham Goodbye, goodbye to summer For summer's nearly done The garden smiling finely Cool breeze in the sun Our dresses now are silent Our swallows flown away But Robin's here in coat of brown with Rudy Breastnut Guy. Robin, Robin Redbreast. Oh, Robin dear. Robin singing sweet, sweetly in the falling of the air. What is pink? by Christina Rossetti. What is pink? A rose is pink by the fountain spring. What is red? A puppy is red in its barely bed. What is blue? The sky is blue where the clouds flow flow through. What is white? A swan is white sailing in the light. What is yellow? Pears are yellow, rich and rip and mellow. What is green? The grass is green with small flower between. What is violet? Clouds are violet in summer twilight. What is orange? Why? An orange, just an orange. The Eagle by Alfred Tennyson He clasped the crack with crooked hands Close to the sun in lonely lands Arguing with the azure world he stands The wrinkled sea beneath him crawls He watched from his mountain walls And like a thunderbolt he falls The Song Piper by Francis Frost At the edge of tide, he stopped to wander, raised through the lace of thunder, onto picked legs, sweep and brittle. He runs and pipers, and his voice is a little, but more or not, he has a notion to outshoot the Atlantic. Ocean. A wee little worm by James Wickham Riley. A wee little worm in a hickory nut song. Happy and she called thee. Oh, I live in the heart of the world round wood. And it all belongs to me. A Dragon's Lie by Eleanor Virgin. When the heat of the summer made drowsy the land, a dragon's light came and sat on my hand. With his blue giant body and wings like spun glass, it lit on my fingers a stroke 
they were grass. Green Stem by Margaret Wisborn. Little things that crawl and scrape in the green grass forest, deep in the tear long stem world, world first on car to a garner wood beneath the leaf a bottom, and every rover upon its stem blows above them tree, the bottom of a geranium, the back side of a trillium, the belly of a bumblebee is all they see, these little things, down so low, where no birds sing, where no wind blows, deep in their long stem world. My Time Magic by Marble Watch A little seed for me to sow A little earth to make me grow A little hole, a little bed A little wish, and that is that A little song, a little shower A little while, and then a flower Beyond Winter by Ralph Waldo Emerson Over the winter glaciers I see the summer glow And through the wild peel snow drip The warm rust birds below First Snow by Marie Louise Allen Snow makes witness where it falls The bushes lock the popcorn balls and places where I always play look like somewhere else today. The rain has silver sandals by May Juntus. The rain has silver sandals for dancing in the spring and shoes with golden tassels for summer sparkling. Her winter boots have hot nails of ice from hill to two, which now and then she chains for most signs of snow. Until I saw the sea by Lillian Moore. Until I saw the sea, I didn't know that wine could wrinkle water so. I never knew that sun could splinter a wool sea of blue, nor did I know before a sea breathes in and out upon a soul. The Ferns by Ganibaro Hike, hike in the branches, the sea winds plug on the rail. A storm is moving westward, but here on the forest floor. The ferns have captured stillness. A green sea growth they are. The ferns lie underwater in a lake of the bordered green. Their motion is like stillness. As if water sieve between and a great storm quivers through bottoms of green. The Wind by James Rivers I can get through a doorway without any key and strip the leaves from the great oak tree. I can drift through clouds and shake tall towers or still through a garden and not wake the flowers. Sis, I can move and sip, I can sink. I can carry a whole stop or the sign of a pink. When I'm angry, I can rip and riot. And when I'm spent, I lie quiet as quiet. Trees by Sarah Kalaraji. The oak is called the king of trees. The aspen quivers in the breeze. The poplar grow up straight and tall. The peach tree 
sprints along the wall. The sycamore gives pleasant sight. The willow drops in a watery glit. The fir tree usable timber gives. The beach a mind the forest life. The crocus by Walter Crane. The golden crocus reaches up to catch a sunbeam in her cup. Happy Talks by Robert Louis Stevenson. The world is so full of a number of things. I'm sure we should all be as happy as kings. The Sonnery by Elizabeth Turner. Mary had a little bird with feathers bright and yellow, slender legs upon my words. He was a pretty fellow, sweetest notes he always sang, which much played Mary. Often where his cheek was hug, she said to hear scenery, crumbs of birth and tainted seeds. She carried to him tightly, seeking for the early wood. She decked his palace gaily. This, my little readers, learn and ever practice daily. Song and similes of love written to friend who love you truly. Mary Slam by Sarah Josepha Halley. Mary had a little lamb. Its place was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. He followed her to school one day. That was against the rule. It made the children look and play. To see a lamb at school, and so the teacher turned him out. But still, he lingered in there and wanted patiently about till Mary did appear, and then he ran to her and laid his head upon her arm. And is he said, I'm not afraid. You will keep me from all harm. What makes the lamb love Mary so? The eager children cry. Oh, Mary loves the lamb, you know. The teacher did a replay. And you each gentle animal in confidence my bind. And make the follow at your call. If you are always kind. About my dreams by Hilda Conkley Now the flowers are all parted and the dark is going by the evening is arising it is time to rest when I am sleeping I find my pillow full of dreams they are all new dreams no one told them to me before I can through the cold, they remember the sky, my little dreams. They have wings, they are quick, they are sweet. Help me tell my dreams to the other children, so that they breathe my taste of weather, so the milk they drink. May make the thing of meadows in the sky of stars. Help me to give bread to the other children so that their dreams might come back. So they will remember what they knew before they came through the cold. Let me hold their little hands in the truck. The lonely children, the babies to have no mothers anymore. Dear God, let me hold up my silver cup for them to drink.
and tell them the sweetness of my dreams. How not to have to dry the thesis by Sal Silverstein. If you have to dry the thesis, sounds an awful boring score. If you have to dry the thesis, instead of going to the story. If you have to try the thesis and you drop one on the floor, maybe they won't to let you try the thesis anymore. Snowball by Sil Silverstein I made myself a snowball as perfect as could be. It took it keep it as pet and let it sleep with me. I made it some pajamas and a pillow for its head. Then last night it ran away, but first it weighed the bed. Daddy fell into the pond by Alfred Noyes. Everyone crumbled. The sky was gray. We had nothing to do and nothing to see. We were nearing the end of a dismal day. And then, there seemed to be nothing beyond. Then, Teddy fell into the pond. And everyone's wings grew merry and bright. And Timothy danced for sheer delight. Give me the camera, quick. Oh, quick! He's crawling off all the town with click. Then the gardener suddenly slapped his knee and turned up, shaking silently. And the duck all quick as if they were tough, and it sounded as if the old trunk lock. Oh, there was an a thing that didn't respond when Teddy fell into the pond. A Naughty Problem by Patrick Winstanley A script for a giraffe would be 40 feet long. But how would a giraffe know how to put one on? Crabby by Barbara Fancy. I'm a crab who walks the soul and pieces to us all day. If I were you, I'd wear some shoes and not get in my way. B by Dennis Roger. A bee calm tapping at my screen, dizzying, bumping. Sounding mean, pounding, pushing, acting wired, with no truth of getting tired. I could say, dear B, what is it? Would you like to come and piss it? But I feel his anger can, so I'm glad I have a screen. My doggy at my essay by Darren Sardelli. My doggy at my essay. He picked up all my mail. He cleaned my dirty closet and dusted with his tail. He straightened up my poster and swept my wooden floor. My parents almost fainted when he fixes my bathroom door. I didn't try to stop him. He made my window sign. My room look like a palace. And my trees smelled like pine. He fluffed up every below. He folded all my clothes. He even cleaned my fish tank with a toothbrush and hose. I thought it was amazing to see him use a broom. I'm glad. He ate my easy on how to clean my room.